So I made me a bantamweight British champion now. So I've had three British titles, three different weights. Yeah. Uh, Dan Chapman fight fighting now is still uh, scheduled, like when uh, the crowds are allowed back for the world title. So yeah, I got a nice little space on my uh, trophy magnet for that now. Mighty on here then, right? You're back. I know, but so soon. <laughs> I know. I didn't think I'd be back so soon, but hey. No, I didn't think so either, mate. But Christmas yeah. Just, special. That's it, mate. Yeah, fucking loving the hat. Oh, oh, Yes. Well, you're back on a good note as well, mate. Yeah, awesome, man. Won, uh, won the fight that we uh, was talking about on the last show, which is uh, awesome. Yeah. Bit of a roller coaster ride. Like I said, uh, we thought it was going to be Leeds, but uh, we found out then it was somewhere else, like Birmingham. That's where it was. We had to go up there and isolate. Uh, it was a holiday in, wasn't it? It was great, man. Uh, they, uh, wouldn't, they wouldn't tell us where the venue was. It was all like top secret, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah, I thought it was going to be in London, wasn't it? Was that? Well, that's it, man. When about? I left, yeah, I had visions of my own room in the O2, you know, walking out uh, to the ring in the O2 as, uh, as I'm so used to, in my comfort zone, like. And then they pulled the cards, it was going to be Leeds. I wasn't very happy with that, to be honest. And uh, so we jumped that hurdle then, and then we had a, a new venue in for uh, Birmingham, wasn't it? Yep. Which was so, a bonus for us. Yeah, it was only up the road. Yeah, it's close, isn't it? That's yeah, ideal, that is. Yeah. yeah. Was that hour and a half, was it, from yeah, you just boys? The, yeah, just the trip home made it, wasn't it, man? Quick stop off at McDonald's, but uh, got home like hour and 20. I was home by 12, left it, that was 10 to me. Yeah, it's nice to get home to your own house yeah, after was, but... such an eventful <clears throat> couple of days. Yeah. Well, how strict was it? Like really testing strict, and yeah. Everything. We all had testing up the nose and down the throat and I wasn't there, and then we weren't allowed to see anybody. We had to stay in our rooms. It's like being tooled up in jail, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> People coming knock on the door and all that, dropping like parcels off, fucking Is it? pasta. Yeah. Bear in mind, people was trying to lose weight. Then I had pasta, sandwiches, <laughs> fucking lasagna, and I guess when I park. I was cushy, like, you know. Cause I was Sorted. Shit, yeah. lots of chips yeah, as much as I wanted to cane it, like, I, I couldn't, like. And there's loads of other fighters who couldn't either. Next morning, bacon butties and all that. And we went from the hotel into the venue. Obviously, we weighed in. We had to isolate there. About 30 Domino's pizzas turned up in, didn't they? Fucking pepper army, the lot, but I spilled what, twice. I did, yeah. Post way in, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fuck, I, I, it was filled up with pizza, but I felt bad. I did as much as I liked it. Like, <laughs> I yeah, don't know how you could yeah. just ordered like 30 pizzas yeah. from Domino's. So. I was after my McDonald's and my fucking KFC. I pulled out my backpack, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hell, I don't think I would have felt like fighting after eating I that. I did, no. not. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, mean, we was the only ones to have our own dressing room. We was in this van, but it was a tidy van, now. But uh, yeah, we was upstairs when they said Beyonce and I'd been in there, Yeah, in the dressing room we was in, yeah. Yeah, it's a liberty to have uh, your own dressing room. See, all the other boys was downstairs warming up together, and I don't like that. See, I don't think I earned that uh, dress room. Smudger had his own dressing room too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was wicked, man. Come to the fight there, main event, like. So uh, going into the fifth round then, we had two apiece as far as I know, and uh, Jim come round and told us, like, there's all to fight for, so I think I just put my foot on the gas and just went for it. Yeah. I oh, mean, it was a wicked fight, fair yeah. play. I did poke him in the eye. He was unintentional. Like, I know you just get so used to partying and things like that. I don't know. It happened twice, like, I didn't uh, look good. But, uh, yeah, it was a good fight, man. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, you you were really humble about it, though, and you apologised. Yeah, you yeah, could see know, you were know, actively apologising yeah, so to sorry. him. So, yeah, it's just part of the sport, I suppose, isn't it? It's yeah, but not. Uh, for the decision, it was nice for it to tip my way for a change. Like, I know with uh, the controversial decisions I've had in the past, the draws and things like that, and the Tyler Goodjohn decision, yeah. was over the moon, but fair play. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, it's quality. Like, yeah, I was chuffed watching it, to be honest, yeah. yeah. So I made me a uh, bantamweight British champion now. So I've had three British titles, three different weights. Yeah. Uh, Dan Chapman fight now is still uh, scheduled, like, when uh, the crowds are allowed back for the world title. So, yeah, I got a nice little space on my uh, trophy magnet for that now. Wicked, camera. mate. So, you no injuries now coming off the back of that? No, nothing. Bit of a bruise, yeah, but uh, nothing, man. No concussion. Just been eating loads, eating crap, spending time with family, chucking logs on the fire and all that. It's been great, but... Yeah. Nice little end into a shit year, but after then two camps going to waste, you know? Well, that's it, mate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah you put yeah, all the work yeah, in. Did, but like a couple of times... It's really hard pill to swallow them shows not going ahead after the, the time you put in the diet and, you know, sacrificing, leaving work early, things like that. Yeah. You know, it was a nightmare, but... Is this the uh, permanent dream team now, like? Could be, but, you know, if he's willing to well, step yeah. in again, man, if you yeah. can handle it, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, I usually renowned for getting up early to train fighters, but obviously I uh, didn't have a lot of choice with Sean. <laughs> just saying to him, now following that, now a lot of my guys who are looking for private sessions, they don't let me know. 
Can't you do me early now? Can't you do me early? Like, oh, <laughs> I've started something now. You've set him up for it now. Yeah. yeah, it's just the rounds with me as well. So intense, and you know, and like the the you know the uh, conditioning and all that after, like you know, he's no use to either as well. No, it's pretty. So like he done a session, you know. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. Like I expect being on the pads is pretty tough on you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, teaching a class is is a lot different. When you're teaching a class, you're walking around, dealing with different individuals at different levels, showing them what to do. Um, so you sort of get a break in between when you're going to train with Sean. It's just business, like, you know, so you just go on on the pads or the paddles, whatever it may be, and it's just, like, fireworks going off constantly, and you don't even want to rest in between rounds, like, so uh, by the time I have up. a drink myself, turn around, we back going again, so it's just, like, full-on sesh for me God, well, you like, like Keep me fit as well, you know? So. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 10 yeah. rounds, like, 40 seconds, 30 seconds rest, and I just cut it all time, don't we? There's yeah. a rep sound on conditioning at the end, it's non-stop. Yeah. Back in hell. So, were you, were you part of like Mason's camp as well then? Yeah, you yeah. As I well, mean, yeah. Um, I've been one of Mason's striking coaches for about three years now, I expect. Yeah. Um, seen him evolve really as a fighter as well from when his pro career started. Um, if you watch his fights in order, you sort of see how his game evolved and especially his striking where he's changed from just a boxer to, you know, using all his weapons, if yeah. you like knees. I won't take all the credit for his kicks because he's got a really good kicking coach as well. But as far as the knees and elbows and stuff like that go, I've pretty much been yeah. responsible for a great deal of that. You ah, know? Cool, so yeah. yeah, yeah. So was this your first lockdown like event for you as well? Or? Well, yeah, I guess you've been quiet really with all this yeah. game shutting the students. And that was nice for him to play a part. And we got the goal together yeah, as well. Mate, but we went up, they all kicked it up. And now we got your logo oh, on know, this year yeah, as well. Thanks but for that was yeah, so. chipping on that. Yeah, look good, Fitly. Yeah, everyone's asking me about where the yeah. guys from. Like, so Is it? Yeah. I start a little clothing brand now. Get on it, innit? They look smart, don't they? Yeah. Fair play. Look good about fair yeah, play. I got my yeah. t shirt on as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was good, innit? Like, just repping the podcast brand. Oh, nice one, mate. Yeah. Yeah, like you wear them or whatever around the gym, and like I'm sure boys would buy them who train at the gym and yeah, stuff, like okay. wouldn't they? It's not just the sponsor on the night, you know. These these t shirts will be worn in training for the next until they dissolve yeah, or when we have class photos or whatever, you know. Yeah. So it's still about dinner. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Like I've seen, yeah, I've seen a couple of photos with you boys wearing them, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm a little team like, up with me, man. There's only Welsh boys up there, but then Craig Rocky Morgan showed up, and then he took a fight on like a day's notice, he did. Was it? Yeah. yeah, he stormed his body like we knew it was gonna happen. But yeah, fair play. I'm taking a fight short notice, traveling up there, and then he was home in time to watch my fight, wasn't he? he was yeah. Second on, and he got home to watch on, my eh? fight. He said, "I'm in a road now, Sean, so I can get back to watch your fight." He oh, was filled up play. on pizza as well, wasn't he? It was <laughs> nice to have some other Welsh guys here, to be honest. Like you know, yeah, we let him in our room. We did, you know, to warm up and all that. People don't understand, but how important our room is, but do they? No. Yeah, I suppose like this. You, you can get in your own little zone yeah, in there, can't you? Course. You haven't got the outside yeah, noise. No, like. That's it, man. Like, I isolate myself away from everyone, you know. It's not so much a noise, it's a prying eyes as well, a lot yeah, of the time. You know? I've seen some people warm up in some ridiculous Distractions, areas. things like that. Curtain yeah. in front of them, people just yeah. looking for the curtain, watching the opponent warm up, you know. and Might see little tells and stuff. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Might not yeah. even know if he's something simple, like a southpaw, or, you know, might not have nothing on him, you know, and then... Quick look, he's like, oh yeah, he's a softball player. Yeah, I wouldn't like to do another lockdown show, oh man, fuck that. You want crowds, is it? Yeah, definitely, but you know, it was weird. We are not in the crowd, it's so quiet, wasn't it? Just that isolation thing you and all that as well, man. You the shots going in, that's for sure. Yeah, just didn't like that isolation, isolation thing and all. Yeah, yeah, I bet it's real strange, isn't it? Especially yeah. when you're used to all the noise yeah, and like yeah. well, the hype of fight week, I expect, takes yeah, away from yeah. it a bit, does it? I just try and make a day of it, travelling up there on the day as well, like, and I don't like to stay up there the night before and things like that. So up like half past three when I just stir in. That was four, that was five, come, that was six, that was seven, he's still sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Long old day for me, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, especially when you're used to being up by early. You kind of want to have like your own bed as well, didn't you? Yeah, leading definitely. up to it. He was on the bed seat even now. That's it. Yeah. He was comfy. He was on the bed, son. <laughs> so uh this one in January, then Ooh. chances are that's going to be a, a lockdown <laughs> show as well. So there's was no it? telling when the crowds are allowed back. They say in January, could be February, March. Obviously, the old two is shut, so it's down to them. All their, all their people are on furlough, so there's no telling. But there's a no, I know. So I'm just going to put my feet up for Christmas. Now I am enjoy Christmas with my family and uh, pick up in the new year. Then obviously I need like six weeks, on I so six weeks notice, February maybe March. I don't know. Yeah, just. Waiting on a date then, like, yeah, after no, Christmas. That'll be my 19th one then, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you reckon that's, uh, tw 
How many more after that are you feeling? Don't know. I want to get to 20. I do like. Yeah. But there's always one more, isn't there? No, it's, just, <laughs> it's, the money, it's the money thing now. Like, and I think I'm in it for the wrong reasons now, to be honest. Like, just for the money. Like, you know, I've had my time, haven't I? You know, I made world champion. I've had the British now a few times. Yeah. Just doing it for the money now. Like, and it's not very good, to be honest. So, after I have a chat in the new year and I put some money on the wood, renegotiate. Yeah. Know, time to cash in. Now I find back, you know. Well, I made it. that show I did back me and Smudger all the other fights was pretty fucking shit <laughs> that's just the truth I was like I don't know it's real. so I made that show but you know it's time to cash in now isn't it yeah mate well I think at the end of the day you, you put it all on the line you've got to be compensated yeah, well haven't yeah, you yeah definitely but yeah it's not just it's not something you know it's, it's not like any other normal job like is it no. Yeah, I think you've definitely got a big risks in it, so it's got to be uh, got to be worth it. But I know high stakes, like yeah, yeah, it's got to make a difference, isn't it? Especially now, you know, I've been in it, I've been in it a long time now. I'm a veteran, like so. I brought the sport from where it was to where it is now, like me and a couple of others, Jimmy Sweeney and I, you know, and double yeah. figures from the A bales to the O two, like yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel like your motivation is now? Is for money rather than titles? Yeah, that's, it, and that's, that's that's one thing. Like it's hard to get motivated, I know. Yeah, get motivated when it's just money, but you know, you depends how much, doesn't it? Definitely, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, mate. Well, you're still pulling in the titles though, so you yeah, can't really yeah. Uh, yeah. knock that, can you? Uh, I got three of them now, three British titles. I got a world title, you know, so I got a good uh, few souvenirs. Be nice to have one more world title now to put the icing on the cake. Yeah. Going to the BKB Hall of Fame, and then that documentary will come out. So all good things positive to come. Yeah, yeah definitely, We're mate. Still looking forward to the new year. It's going real well. Yeah, really good, but... Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what's around the corner, like... Well, that's it. You just don't know, do you? Nah. You just don't know. Nah, I don't just want to be fit at 40, but I want to be fighting fit at 40. I do, you know. I'm 38 now in, in June. You know, yeah. I, I think i got a couple more years in it. Yeah, yeah. It's just wherever the missus will stick around, but... <laughs> she's had enough. It's got to be a strain in it, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. She's had enough, you. but she have... Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't imagine like a bit of a bit of a worry, like in it, yeah. sitting at home. Even and just now, like I'm still in fight mode now, like I you know she wanna be she wants some loving off me now, but I just can't do it. And I'm a fighter. <laughs> I'm not a lover. Yeah. I suppose it's hard to get out of that mind frame when you've I'm been just prepping. thinking about the next one now, aren't I? Yeah. Get ready for the next one now. I suppose it's life consuming, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but yeah. all nothing. It everything hard I do. Yeah. Yeah, I could imagine like, because it's just gotta consume your thoughts and it leading up to it as well, especially like I don't know if it's been like in prior ones, but now you already know this next one was happening yeah. even before you did this one, didn't you? Yeah, so yeah. It's even harder one now with Dan Chapman. And, you know, he got the skill, but we see if he got the will now and the heart. Like, Yeah. So obviously he blocked me on social media now, so I think he's made it a bit personal. So fuck him, isn't it? It's oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he had a little chirp up on Facebook over the last couple of days over this fight. I don't know what was said, but someone said some. he said something, but... I don't look into it. I just see him in the middle. Yeah. 69 kilos. And we'll uh, see how, how he goes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's only been three rounds, but it's a schedule for seven. We'll just keep on coming. Yeah, yeah. It's a different thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah what was it? Was it? Yeah, it was five, wasn't it? Yeah, Saturday, yeah. Five Saturday. So this one's for seven. For, so seven. it's different for different titles, is it? Yeah, I've been the seven back a few times. Yeah, that's a long old stint, isn't it? Yeah, you've only had two, haven't you? You know, I've had 18 now, but it's all got to count for something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why he's blocked you. Like, it's weird, isn't it? Just yeah. doesn't want to maybe have the banter or something. I don't know. Fuck knows, but <laughs> I don't know why he's chirping up. I think you just feel left out, Donny. You could have had it on our lockdown show. He didn't want it, so. Yeah. Do you want more time, is it, I suppose? I don't know, but I don't know what his problem is. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, just going to chill out now for Christmas, but my kids, feet up. I got a few people I want to thank, but yeah, I brought a little list, but if that's all right. Go for it, mate. You go for it. My buddy Mark Barber, great support. Paul Bunyan from uh, Curb Appeal in America. Carl and Nathan Pyle. Pine, always been there from Fight 1 to BKB, Fight 18. D to the G, always been there. Big shout out to all the boys down in Cross Hands who I work with, seeing what I do every day. Work, grind down, train, fight. Jamie Dunn. Church Street Fish Shop, keeping me stocked up on fish and chips. <laughs> Best chip shop around. <laughs> my family, my little girls, Ayla and Avi, my partner, Abby. My man, Jenko, in jail on holidays. Keep it down, brother. I'm Robbie. Shout out to all the BKB boys. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Keep safe and I will see you all in the new year. Team Outlaw.
Nice message, mate. Cheers, That's buddy. nice, isn't it? Show yeah. your appreciation to everyone. Yeah, I always forget. Like, I always want to give people uh, the shout up. I always forget, so I had to write them down earlier. I bet in the moment as well, like when you're on camera, yeah, yeah. fucking your head's all over out, the yeah, shop. I wanted to shout out a few the other night. I just couldn't remember. Yeah, adrenaline's all over the place. Yeah, you just no. uh, you just never can remember. That. Yeah, I bet you're on a massive high, like, yeah. wasn't it? But there's a few people who've been there along the way. Helped me out, like, yeah. you know, with food and supplements and support, like, you know. So return the favour. Big shout out to them all and that. That's it, mate. Yeah, anything that makes a difference for them as well, yeah, isn't definitely. it? Yeah, yeah. It's a lonely road, see, you know, when I'm a fighter, but yeah, any help is much appreciated and goes a long way. Yeah, no, so I, I agree. just wish I could. Uh, Pay them back more, but you know, this yeah. is their payment, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, paid mate. off, it worked. Well, I'll clip that up for you anyway. So, you got that segment if you want, yeah, and you can cool, roll man. that somewhere. Like, Happy yeah, days. yeah. So, fuck, we're yeah, here man. again. Happy days, but yeah. So, the gym's back open now, then, mate. And yeah, uh, yeah. you're rolling again. Got some restrictions in place, but at least we, at least we can stay open. Yeah, um, not great news coming from the Welsh government this week, was it to, for pubs and hospitality and stuff, but. He yeah. did say that gyms was essential, so that was a positive. If we could take some positive from it, so yeah, looks like we're going to stay open for the foreseeable with restrictions. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that's that's good for the gyms, isn't it? I know, like, yeah. it's a, it is a kick in the teeth for the pubs and everything, isn't it? And oh, yeah. shit, and it took Christmas away, really, haven't they? You know, it's yeah, too suffering. I like going Christmas shopping, and I wouldn't. I would hate to think where it's like now the social distancing and the queues bad enough on a normal Christmas. Yeah. Santa's Grotto, I liked all that with the kids and like Winter Wonderland, we'd go down there. It's terrible, isn't it? I know. Yeah, it is. It is a. Uh, it's just. Fuck, you just don't know what to say about it. Like, do you, When's you, it going to end, isn't it? Yeah. Is it going to end? Is it like going to end? Doing on the way down, I can see us going into another lockdown after Christmas. Yeah. And me, yeah. yeah. They'll let us have our little mix now, they will. And then we'll have another lockdown then, like the. England have just come out of one, haven't they? Yeah, so yeah, they'll be saying, "Oh, you all fucked it over Christmas. Yeah, you spent yeah, too I much time together, like we said. You could, and now let's let's lock it down." You don't want to get me started on it. No, I know. Yeah. I've seen some of your posts. <laughs> Wrong yeah. podcast. Yeah. yeah, I followed it in the beginning. I'm just fucking confused now. I am, but you know, masks don't work. Masks do work. You know, social distancing. It's just mental, but yeah, I don't think. I don't think anyone knows what's going on. It's hard yeah. to keep up with it, isn't it? How can you, like... They say in jump and we say in Hawaii, you know, you know, we just got to follow suit, don't we? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, you kind of sheep, really, on you? Yeah. It's hard to not... Like, do you know what I mean? I hate all the masks and everything. I feel like it brings a divide between people. Like, if we were sat yeah. here in masks now, we wouldn't have the same conversation. as rather like can't, can't understand massive, people, can I? It's one of the yeah. crime rate. I haven't gone through the roof, all these masks and all that, well. Yeah, yeah, I totally yeah, agree. But... but it's really hard. difficult. You feel like things have changed so much now. You would never have believed it a year ago that no. if you walked into a shop wearing a mask, you yeah. ever, you would be kicked out of the I shop. Know. Whereas now, you walk in not wearing one, you feel wrong not wearing one, yeah, don't you? Because you feel like I everyone's know. looking at you yeah, funny if you don't Holy wear it. Yeah, I don't wear one. Nah. No, no, no I can't wear them, but I try not to. But no, the only time me. I wore one was that day. We had to wear one that day, obviously. The yeah, strict, I, like, yeah. Uh, I just put my collar up. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them, I only way I went to the ring, I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, I think as well, it's a weird one, in it? Because everyone's, like, installed with fear, isn't they? Yeah. So, like, I don't blame people for, like, being worried about it, because... Of course, they, oh, they? yeah, of course, they, you know, they're just listening to what they've told them. Exactly. You know, so yeah, yeah, exactly. They're scared, aren't they, about well, social media, things like that, aren't they? Believe what you read, believe what you hear, the news, yeah. Facebook, everything, aren't they? Brainwashed. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and... uh I'll be honest, like the first few weeks, definitely I was like, oh fuck, what's this yeah, like? I was it? following it, but yeah. now I just confused. But does you know good looking at it, does it? <laughs> just yeah. fucking, I'll be honest, if I go on there and I see like, oh, so, so I've actually commented on a few of your posts, so you've probably seen like me on there, but I try to avoid it because I just, you just end up getting annoyed, yeah, like, yeah, don't you? Don't know. You just got to remember when you're having them sort of deb- debates on social media that, that we are all one, like, you know, and you can disagree. And still be good mates and whatever else, you know. That's Some of my best mates are on the total opposite side of the fence to me. And that's cool, you know. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, yeah, so. that's it. I totally agree as well, because you could easily... Because people, like, tarnish... Like, if your views are slightly different to other people, that you have it where they're like, well, you don't give a fuck about anyone. Yeah. Well, I do care about people, but, like, there's a line, in there? Like, yeah. for me, there's a line where I feel like... There's a lot more damage being done. People are quick yeah, to judge, aren't they? Yeah. Like my nan said to me, my nan's 82, lives on her own. She said to me, very big family. We all go visit her very often, a couple of times a week, you know, loads of the grandchildren. 
And when we was fit back in March, when we first went into lockdown into April, three weeks in, she said to my sister, who was her primary carer then, doing her shopping and stuff, well, I'd rather be dead than not see the family. Yeah. So what do you do then, you know? Do you, do you listen to the government and not go see her, or do you not go see your grand who potentially will give up if you don't go see him, you know? Yeah. That's the thing, Sometimes you've got to do what's right and not what you're told. I, I totally I agree. Yeah, 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 I agree. There's like a time and a place in there, and everyone's got a... You gotta respect everyone's decision, like, and leave it up to them. And if, like, if you want to go see your gran, I'm not gonna tell you you're a bad person for that. Like, yes. do you know what I mean? Lots of people suffering and loneliness yeah. and things like that. Terrible. Sorry to interrupt this podcast. I'm sure you're enjoying, but I just need to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Effect Electrical, thank you for being a long-term sponsor. Anyone who needs any electrical work done or car charger fitting, check him out. Thank you to Tech Security also. Uh, any cameras. Uh, any Wi-Fi, any of that sort of stuff, check out his Facebook page and get him booked in. Stay safe this winter. Cheers, people. Now back to the podcast and enjoy. Yeah, like if you're yeah, living well, on your own, like fucking yeah, hell. Yeah, like, free live on your own, you know. I didn't yeah. want to give up, so. so for visits through windows and things like that. I've seen yeah. that's crazy, but you know. Yeah. No, mate, yes. Yeah, it's, it is nuts, like. It is nuts. <laughs> that's all you can say, isn't I, it? I, I, like I said, I didn't bring my silver tin foil lap tonight, so we'll do it. <laughs> you'll have to, uh, you'll have to start one, mate. Oh no way! Nah. People will judge me enough as it is now. <laughs> yeah, when's it going to end? On like, say, I'm just going to look after myself and my family and have a nice little Christmas and see what the new year brings. You know, Shh. hopefully, it's fucking all blows over. But just do you and uh, concentrate on yourself, and yeah, yeah, that's the only thing you can do really, isn't it? Because. Yeah. <sighs> And chances are you're not going to be able to do anything about it anyway. Like, no, I'm just thankful I got my job and things like that. I know it's unfortunate people are losing their jobs, their homes. Are they going to struggle now through Christmas? But you know, I feel for them. I do like you know. Yeah. Terrible. Same. Are you training now at all? Sure. No, I want to train now for a couple of weeks. But I'm just going to eat and eat and eat. But and uh, which I deserve, and then just pick up man after Christmas. I will. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm naturally fit anyway, but I never lose too much. Yeah. I, mentality, you know. Yeah, I don't blame you to be honest, because probably having that break away will yeah. help you work harder it's when like you come that back. Camp, anyway. Me and him just had it was short and sharp, like you know, it didn't drag on. I didn't get bored, so yeah, six weeks is enough, but I think yeah, I suppose. So it, as soon as I got a date, I could just switch on like ah, oh, the fire's lit, and we'll go at it again then. Yeah, less niggles and everything then. I yeah, expect as well, yeah. isn't it? If it's short, yeah, I'm surprised about it. Sail through nice, and I'm alright by as well. No injuries, no concussion. I went back to work Monday if I wanted to do. Yeah. But I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking like you're healing up. It's yeah, I do, man. It's yeah, food yeah, it's and fast, I get the food and all. Yeah. Just like I still do. So I on anything. Yeah. Didn't take many in the no, eyes or anything. The year, but it, it was nothing major, you know. Ah, for a yeah. change, you know. Usually come up black and blue, don't I? Yeah. My hands are still fine, but. Fly in. <sighs> Fucking fly so in. Yeah, the good weekend. <laughs> I can't believe it was nearly a week ago, but. Yeah. Going back to the fight, the, the fight basically turned into a round, one round fight because going into <clears> the <throat> fifth, uh, the promoter came to both corners yeah, and he said, piece. look, it's, it's still wide open, it's all on its last round. Yeah. So it basically, everything came down to that fifth, so it turned into a one round fight in and the end. I knocked him down, he was saved yeah. by the ropes, he didn't give him the count for it, but uh, I think no, I might have scored it on the cards, like, you know. I think the judges probably yeah, looked at that and yeah, thought if the ropes yeah, weren't yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was going, wasn't he? yeah. Yeah, it was it was really close. To be fair, it was a close fight. Yeah, that? when I dropped him, and then I was fucking about to hand drop my hands, and I and then boosh, <laughs> he dropped me. Yeah, I, I, I had to bring it up. I seen you go like you went like that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> boosh. He's like either bucket didn't fly it then. Oh, yeah, it's uh, no taunt then. Nothing like that. It just came to my head, like you know, you won this round now. Going to fuck, going to back, fuck now. Have a dance about, have some fun. <laughs> Pay the ultimate price of showboat, then. <laughs> Me, I was literally, I was watching it uh, in the house with my dad and one of my mates, and you started doing that, and then literally seen you got dropped, and you're like, oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Everyone shouting at him, like every Welsh person. Yeah. John, what are you doing? It's just me Bring it back. Oh, we brought it back. We brought it back. Yeah, we got it back. <laughs> we got the gold, but we used the winner. Yeah. Happy days. What does it feel like? Is is there like a moment? Obviously, you just fucking straight back up when you get dropped. Is it like yeah, just adrenaline, no thinking, like it? yeah, adrenaline, but like a yo yo me. I never want to take that count. Yeah, just fight this pride in it, like <laughs> yeah, fair play, mate. No, you fought through, didn't you? And yeah, got the win. Like it's, it's quality, it's quality. Yeah, I can't wait to see you now in January. Like I think it's gonna yes. well February probably is it. It's no telling, but no I won't do another lockdown show. So whenever the crowds are loud, I'll be there. But yeah, yeah, I think that's a that's a good shout. Like especially 
you know, now coming to the tail end, like yeah, get it in yeah. as much as you can. I'm not, sh- not sh- going to train for Christmas for nothing. Like, oh, I'll need a date, I will, and I'll need a couple of weeks of notice. Yeah. But uh, they know I want to enjoy my Christmas now, they do. Yeah. Uh, yes, heat up, log on the fire. Yeah. Could, could be middle of next year if it's <laughs> waiting for a crowd, isn't it, at this rate? Till everyone's. Uh, Who knows? It is what knows. it is, but. Yeah, it is. Fuck it. it You've got to feel sorry for all, like, amateur sports people throughout, really, because. Like, obviously, the people at the top of their game are getting to fight. We talk to Sean's and your Masons and whoever, UFC Cage Warriors. But then all the amateur guys, they're all just against a brick wall now at the minute. You know, they they can't progress. Yeah. And the yeah. juniors as well, you know? Yeah. So they're more like caged animals in the gym. These boys that have been training now, they're looking to get on with their amateur career. They had plans to yeah. turn pro in so many years and whatever else. And they've all just stopped, you know? The gap, like. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I, and going back to the youth, like they're not having a chance to develop. Yeah, it's crucial developing mm-hmm. at the younger ages, you know. Yeah, and you think of some of these yeah. countries at the back to normal, and their kids are back doing their sports. Yeah, com- yeah. competitively, they're gaining space on all the British kids, if you like, and every other countries that are suffering the same as us. They're gaining on them, you know. So yeah, yeah, their countries are going to excel exactly. in like, like martial New arts Zealand and with rugby. You know, that gap is just gonna. Grow yeah. a little more now in the next generation because them kids had another year, yeah, yeah getting to- better when our kids didn't, I and totally that goes agree, across yeah. the board, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the but fight then is a reward, see, so some of them are going to steer off track, and I don't exactly. know, they might quit, and I and give that it as up, well. and that's end up massive. on the streets and things, and I was not on effect yeah. a lot of things yeah that's so true people. actually yeah because they haven't got that f- like three yeah. month goal yeah. or no, eight I mean, week goal of they they've got no reason to diet or things like that have you know they've got no date and things yeah I'd keep motivated it's there's yeah. nothing yeah. to aim yeah. for innit yeah so yeah it's shit uh, shit time innit yeah yeah well hopefully like I'll it'll come back soon innit for everyone and I was speaking to Richard Shaw the other day actually he came in and yeah. he was saying that there's going to be like a gap you know where well, I we both talking about it about how there could be a gap yeah. of like yeah where people weren't able to train and yeah. it's, it's yeah. gonna yeah it's yeah. gonna have an impact in it. And all promoters as well. I mean, just about every promoter yeah. in the country now are just waiting for a go ahead, and then they, everyone will put a show on. You know what I mean? So you'll have say shows can start back next September, for instance. You're gonna have a show every day of every weekend for a couple of months because be every all the promoters they want to get on. Yeah, catch up yeah. And, you know, there's pl- there'll be plenty of fighters for whatever show it may be. Whatever discipline, you know. Yeah, yeah, and I suppose then, like, for you, it would be hard to pick and choose. I expect if yeah, you're going, exactly, like, yeah. there's a lot of options like, and stuff. I had a it? show planned for April, just around the time we went into lockdown. Obviously, that got cancelled, and then probably would have had another show by now. So instead of being three shows in, I would have been six shows in by now in my promotion. Yeah. Like so, like you said, everything have just stopped, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably weird. Is Celtic Pride your gym, man? Part of my yeah, me yeah. and Greg Creel, we both yeah. we teach different disciplines and we're both co-owners of the gym, like, you know, yeah. so... Which is the tie, don't Works it? well, yeah, it works well. Yeah, that's good, mate. That's good. I expect yeah. you've uh, felt it this year as well, then, like... Yeah, I'm, like, I got a taxi business as well, so... Oh, right, yeah. That's yeah. pretty been pretty bleak, as you can imagine. No airport runs, and you know, nothing works dried up. So I haven't... Been able to survive off. I've just kept my staff on rather than lay them off. Yeah. And I've just managed. So I've been putting extra work in one to one sessions in a gym and I just to make a couple of bob myself, you know. So Yeah. Yeah. Fuck okay, yeah, I see so many people in it, like in loads of things you don't even think about, innit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's widespread, like just saying to Sean on the way down, usually this time of year. I haven't got no time to do nothing but Ferry people back and forth work stools and stuff like that. Yeah. I haven't got one work stool book in this year. Like, and the pub well. runs and I know as well. See with the taxis and I know. It's crazy. Like, true, mate. Yeah. Yeah. And like Shit. all the hospitality and everything, like you say, and this is the time of year that keeps them afloat. Yeah. For the rest yeah. of the year as well. My yeah. missus works in spoons. She, uh, She's going back on furlough now for the third time. Yeah. So it's phew, terrible, isn't it? Yeah. It's only probably some of the bigger companies like that will see it through, isn't it? Yeah, just got to try and keep could positive. Be the end of small know. business altogether, couldn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. It's, like I was commenting on your post the other day about Amazon being one of the only ones that's doing well, isn't it? Because yeah. yeah, home delivery, don't know why. It's so easy, and course, the options aren't there, isn't it? Isn't it? That's, yeah, that's, that's the goal, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's nuts. Like, it, did you ever fight? Yes. Yeah. You, yeah. You I, oh God, started. Taekwondo when I was about 10, competed at a good level till I was about 16, travelled a bit, 
Welsh team and stuff. Quit when I was about 17, partied for about four years, <laughs> went back kickboxing when I was... As you do. <laughs> as you do. But I won't change that in days for the world, you know. Started back when I was 22 and when I met my wife, because obviously settled down, can't party no more. Needed to get back into something. Started back kickboxing for about three or four years, done pretty well. Um, jumped in an MMA fight in 2006 when it first started to come popular. Um, I had my ass handed to me because I knew no jits or wrestling at all. All I could do was punch <laughs> and kick. Um, went back to the drawing board and that's when I met Greg Creel and a good friend of mine then had just started a Thai boxing gym, being Lee Stingymore. Big shout out Stingy, my old coach. Um, trained under Stingy for a while. <clears throat> Turned around, I was pretty successful and in MMA. Oh, at a cool. decent level, yeah. I'd, about five or six fights, about five and one. Um, concentrated on Thai then. I fell in love with Thai boxing and I won three or four titles in Thai. Welsh title, seven area title and a oh, couple of others. Man. Changed my job when I was about 32 and 33, something like that, and I'm 40 now. And that was when I sort of struggled to do a fight camp because I was at a good level and, you you know, it was either commit to the training or carry on work. And I had, I had a family, I got two girls, you know. Yeah. So it was on, needed the job. Slowly moved into coaching then. And I honestly think I'm five times, at least five times the coach, better coach than I was a fighter. And I was an all right fighter. I yeah. wasn't too bad, so... I suppose there's, there's no money in, like, Muay Thai over here, is there? No, anyway, no, yeah. I mean, I got a girl with me who's, gosh, she's UK number one, former UK number one, unbeaten in four years. Um, trains, one of the few people who really, really train, Sean being one, and Lindsay Edwards, who I'm talking about, big shout out, Lindsay, she trains like an absolute machine, you know. You see as a coach who, who, who puts their all in and who cuts corners now and again, and she's another one who puts their all in. She's a nothing out of Thai boxing, you know. Yeah, there's, there's no money in it at all. It's, it's dreadful, really. Like, because it, it no, is crazy, isn't it? Because yeah. it's it's good to watch as well, oh, isn't it? It's not like know. I don't understand where the, like the divide is. I know, and I what know. sport? It's got to be promotion, isn't it? A lot I think of the time, yeah. the show you're on, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, my show's pretty good. I've done well with what I've done for my Thai in South Wales. Um, I've pushed it, and I got like a good junior team. Probably the, the strongest junior team in Wales. I'm confident in saying my Muay Thai junior team is the most com the best in Wales. We we travel and we, we win a fair bit. Still a bit of a gap from us to up north. The level up north is much better. But we're trying to catch them and doing it the right way and competing against them and maybe losing, but we're trying to catch them. Up, yeah, you know? yeah. So I've, it's a gen teaching people is a generation, you know. It's a 10-year it's a game plan, really. You have a 10-year-old walk through your door. That's a 10-year plan, really. If you can stick with them for 10 years, time them 20, that's when you can turn them into a leap and maybe people who can make a living out of it then. Yeah. So with people like Mason opening the door for our gym and stuff now, hopefully the floodgates will open for us now, like because we got some good talent coming through. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, we don't like to shout too much. We let the fight and do the talking as far as the gym goes, and that's sort of been our motto all along. Yeah. But people are starting to take notice now because the 18, 19-year-olds we got, and even younger going to make waves in the next five years or so, yeah. as soon as they shit the fuck off. Well, they're going to see like people like Sean and Mason mm. and stuff exactly. doing, doing got, well, aren't they? they, they look up to now, yeah. you know? They go, oh, I want to be like him. I want to do what they've done. Hard work pays off. Yeah, you know? they know what's possible, don't they, yeah. by seeing new boys in front yeah. of them, like... It's all yeah. or nothing, aren't you? can't, it's one or the other, like, you know? Yeah. It's no half in, no half out. Yeah, it's dangerous game to be half in, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Once yeah. you're at a certain level, you can't burn a candle at both ends, you know yeah. what I mean? You've got to... Yeah, I, down, right? I know a boy who was training, I think he trains yours anyway, Ryan Williams, I went to school with him, yeah, tank, man. yeah, Mason talked about him yeah, as well, he's yeah. A tank. yeah, recently come back in the ranks, like, full time, if you like, um, took a bit of time off, but if Ryan get his head on it, he's another one that could make waves, you know, he was, Ryan was chucking men about at age 16, mm -hmm. beating them for fun, like, you know, he's a strong lad. Got married then, wasn't he? Yeah, sort of kids and marriage and all that, which, you know, which is good. Yeah. But uh, if he gets his head on it now, and I think you had a little bit of time to look back and think, oh, what if, what if, see people doing well, and then think, yeah. especially if you've got a back and have a good woman behind you saying, go on, go, go yeah. train. Yeah. Go fill your dreams. Cause I think once you've done it, but it'll always be a part of you, see. Of so course, I think yeah. that go, no it's like a it, big old it? void to fill, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I bet he feels like he just wants to. Yeah. See what he could have done or exactly, can do yeah. now. What if? Yeah. Yeah. It's really, don't live with regret, do you? You don't be yeah. on your deathbed and think, oh, what if it's I really hard. You've got to keep at it. You know, the first one's gonna be hard, and it's gonna be a bit easier, easier. 
Yeah, no feeling, no, there's no feeling like it. Like you no. said, once we've competed, like I still miss it. The closest I get now is being in a corner, so that's pretty good. I'll take that. Most people don't get that. Like, so yeah, I usually go to about 30 shows a year. I've Best been to like three shows man, this year. Man. Well, then. Best seat in the house. I have, yeah. It is great, isn't it? I suppose yeah. when you look at it like that, I suppose you are well emotionally oh, involved yeah. in you. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. You're, in, you're in the fight, you just aren't taking the blows. Yeah. Exactly, yes. That's what I mean. It's not a bad place to be, is it? No. But I've always got to watch the fights back as a fan because you don't watch it as a fan in a corner. You're doing a job, you know. So it's nice to go back. We're back up shows us on a weekend and we sat down together, yeah. watched the fight. Got some cake. Yeah, that's some yeah. cake. <laughs> <laughs> the boy's eating well now. Yeah, yeah. my mum always made me a cake, coconut sponge cake it's with Nutella too. through the middle. Big shout out Sean's mum, my cake was lovely. <laughs> nice one, mum. <laughs> He's been on the Domino's, the fish and chips, the cake. McDonald's, KFC. There's nothing this guy isn't eating. Greg's. <laughs> I'd eat the uh, jump on the scales now, I would. Yeah. Yeah, straight back up here. About 12, 8 at least. <laughs> You have to put some miles in now. Christmas ain't even yet. Yeah, yeah. Nah, be all right, man. I turned over at bus three in the morning, and like, ah, and I see him naked, stood on the scales. I said, "Wait, cut time is he?" He said, "No, at five. I said, "Back to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did Did you have much to go in the morning? Only like no. two pounds all. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Quick shit. Quick piss. Fly off. Yeah, I did, but made it then. Seventy three kilos. Yeah. No water cut in, see. No so. water cut in. No starving or nothing. Do you feel yeah, that's the best good. way for you? Yeah. Do you feel like sport-wise that, that would be a good move for a lot of people? Like yeah, everyone's different. Oh yeah, you honest. should never dry up anyway, should you? No, dehydrate, no, no, your brain is vulnerable. See, that water cushions your brain, so I've like, been there and done it, but with Tyler Good, John, dried up nine pounds in one day, depleted, dehydrated, on death's door. Yeah, yeah. You don't go taking blows any of you. No, I say exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where the damage is going to come yeah, from. You might yeah. make it to the end of the fight, see with your adrenaline, and then you'll just collapse, and you'll look, and then yeah. you'll go into a coma, and you just might not come back. And yeah, fuck that. And that's it's such a common thing, though, isn't it? Not yeah, the, the coma yeah. stuff, but the weight cutting yeah. is like dangerous, but no. Yeah, especially the fight before the fight, but yeah, yeah, the fight is the easy part. It's the making the weight. Some fighters the embrace it; they're crazy. But uh, most fighters yeah. say it's the worst part of fighting, don't they? Yeah. Which is a shame, really, isn't it? Because I suppose no one doesn't... Like, people don't want to stop doing it because they feel no. like they're giving the advantage of away, course, don't they? Yeah, and, yeah, of course, yeah. So you've got size on some of the, you know, yeah, no some of the people that in there. Ca- you'd think Especially the MMA world. They can lose up to two stone and put it back yeah. on. They weigh in 24 hours before. You know, we don't, like... We yeah. weigh in the same day, so... Yeah, I suppose you can't quite... You, you can't probably do won't the get it back in quick enough if you dry up, see? Yeah. Can, can you do, like, IVs and stuff in... DKB well, or probably could have got your hands on one, but I, I don't know what to yeah. do. With that. I, know I don't go stick anything in me. You know? <laughs> no, like that. Fuck like that. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, this is dangerous. Yeah, you see physically, s- mentally, it's fucking horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you see some of them, the big MMA fighters in the UFC and stuff, they are oh, like unbelievable. Strip, like someone like Ramiro, he put on like twenty five pounds or something, yeah, didn't no. he? Like the next Freaking day. Nature, like. But then some have died from it, haven't they? Yeah, it's a risk, isn't it? Yeah, you don't know like you don't know what you've got underlying in you do when you're doing oh. that either. Like, Later on in life as well, your organs suffer like you know your kidneys and all that. Can't keep losing weight and then putting it back on, losing weight, putting it back on. Your heart as well, isn't it? Yeah, big drain, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't got that problem. Like you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> carrying way too much weight. <laughs> Fucking, I should get in the gym a bit more. I think. It's like man, Christmas from the corner, isn't it? <laughs> cold, cold, cold. <laughs> yeah, that's it, mate. Mince pies, chocolate. Yeah. Whoosh. What's the plans? Got any plans for it? We're just no, chilling out. Just a lockdown Christmas, isn't it, for us? So yeah. I just had that log fire fit to bed, so feet up by the fire for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so hoping the missus will be working all over Christmas, obviously she's furloughed now, so that's me fucked. <laughs> You're not getting away no with anything. Peace and quiet. Yeah. So yeah, just chill out now, still a bit wound up from the fight I am, just trying to wind down bit by bit, day by day. Yeah. Spend time with the kids. Yeah, I bet that adrenaline doesn't just, like, yeah. fly out, does it? No, yeah. it's the body clock, and I'm still waking up at about three in the mornings. You spend so much time focusing on getting yeah. into that zone at the right time. It's, it takes yeah. time to come back out of it as well. Because like. I work as well, see, I'm a machine, like, you know, training in the mornings and then going to work. My, my, my body's just like a clock. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. And I suppose you don't want to get out of it too much of no. the waking up, do you? Because you have to get straight back in it when you're in January. Yeah. I, re- I really have time off work, like so my body just so used to it, getting up, going to work, going training or whatever. Yeah, it takes some serious dedication to get up the times you're getting yeah, up. I know, like, I know. not many people doing that with a job, like, is there? Nobody. Yeah. Can't think of nobody else done it like me. 
And live on as a legend, isn't it? All yeah, that hard work, it, that payoff, sacrifice and all. Yeah, that's, well, that's the difference, isn't it, between yeah, winning and losing, isn't it? It's worth it, that. Yeah. 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 So you're going to be a three o'clock regular wake-up now, then? Right sparring six o'clock on a Sunday. Shout out to Ducey and Dylan. Come yeah, over, sparring, sparring six o'clock on a Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. Fair play to them. Top lads. Did, did you find it all right getting partners in, like? I they always say for me, yeah. but I never got to worry about them, pay. They're ready now for the next one as well, they are, you know. Some so, of them sparring rounds, you could sell tickets to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. I think I had one off day, didn't I? Yeah, you have, people have their most part yeah, and parcel of the camp, and I, yeah. I even jumped in for a couple of rounds one day as well, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Stupid idea, but I <laughs> How did it go? It's all right, two rounds, not too bad. I got two good rounds in me. About it. Took a left duck. Yeah. <laughs> That's about <all> I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like I had to adapt, obviously. Like obviously I <clears throat> not used to just punching is a different stance in my time. Like Sean when he first started being that goal, he was square on and he wasn't really boxing, no. he was just scrapping. Yeah. You know? And he was good at that, don't get me wrong, but once he learned to box, then he the next level then and so yeah, more side arm moving. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't learned how to box. <laughs> don't intend to now is it no no I'm too old too wise in the tough yeah yeah so fucking hell yeah 2020 has been a crazy year boys yeah roll on a new year eh yeah, yeah the top 21 is better isn't it yeah For everybody positive let's all think positive yeah it's got to be in it I reckon yeah. yeah there's only one way now and it's got to get better like I don't think people are going to fucking people can't go on as they are anyway people are so not really, good are they let's be honest people are starting to Rebel against it if you like now, like yeah. Uh -huh. I think people just want to have a bit of freedom back, like don't they? You don't realize how good we had it, do you? Really? Yeah. Let people make their own risks and you know make their own choices, whether you might risk or not. Let people yeah make yeah. their own choices, you know. You use a bit of common sense, I suppose. Exactly. If, if, if you exactly. know you're ill or whatever, like yeah. avoid people in it. Of course, respect people. Yeah. So like now, I said I don't wear a mask, but I still won't go. I won't break social distancing with people. I respect their wishes and their personal space. So. If you don't see me with a mask and in the shop, I won't be no closer than two to three metres to you. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. So you don't tend to get that close. No, not like, I don't know. Year, you know. I find, like, you know, if you're in someone's face, like, I usually don't want to be, do you? Yeah, obviously, <laughs> personal no, space. You're right, yeah, I don't want you're no right. fucking rubbing my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, you do get them, though, don't you? You yeah. do get some people who are, like, right up in your grill when they're speaking yeah. to you. So <laughs> I suppose it's, it's good to keep them away now in the future, like. <laughs> yeah, man, crazy. Yeah, roll on a new year, eh? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the next fight. I just well, if there's a crowd there, like I'd fucking love to come along, like and have a watch. It'd be class. Yeah, it was supposed to be a sellout. It was supposed to go ahead April the fourth, and all the tickets are sellout. They stay valid, and it was supposed to be September the sixth. I got cancelled. All the tickets are still valid, so there's no telling when it's going to be. So they're rolling them tickets on for the people. Yeah, they yeah. have to, don't they? Or refund them, and they ain't going to refund them. So they just roll on to the next show. Yeah, yeah. Are they? So that was sold out. Yeah, said, yeah. yeah. Ah, so I won't be going to yeah. take it. BKB 21, <laughs> BKB 22, and BKB 23 was all scheduled and all the tickets were sell out. That's mad, isn't it? So they got three shows pending, but. I suppose at least they know, like, that's them keeping rolling on. Yeah, they it got is. an exclusive deal with the O2, so until them doors open, we're pretty much fucked. Yeah. Unless you want to do another lockdown show, which I don't. Yeah. That's fair enough as well, being open about it, it? Yeah. and saying you don't want to do it because. Yeah. If you only got so many left, you need to make most of it, then you? Of course. Yeah. For the guys that are up and coming, they should yeah. all be jumping at the chance. Yeah, definitely. Two hands grabbing it, all good, of them. Pop a good chance to get their name yeah. out there now, isn't it? And it's a yeah. different situation, situation for Sean, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, when he bows out, he want all his family beside him, you know? Yeah. yeah. The old two man is the best, but it's the best fan yeah. I have. I love going up there. But the guys, like I said, all the amateurs are suffering, so the guys who have got opportunity to get on a lockdown show, God, a lockdown show like that, boom, they should have snatched it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of boxes crossing over now, isn't there as well? So I expect like a lot of spaces be filled with, uh, yeah. with the boxes now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's nuts. I still, yeah, yeah. We were bouncing around like when you won. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, great like, man. We get yeah. support but from all around the world. Back that lady's bouncing as well. All my family, my little girls was watching back at home. I was Forms first time was right up when they your was right. Oh yeah, up. I just had to shut off on the way home. Couldn't keep strawberry like milkshake and. Uh, yeah, mate, I bet Enjoy it cooks your head, doesn't it? Yeah, still catching up now I am. Like, I do like to reply to everybody, see? So I'm catching up still now, hundreds of messages. Yeah, I bet it takes over your life a little bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, you got to have time for yourself as well yeah, now, haven't you? Yeah, you can't yeah, just, like, fucking but... give it all away, can you? And, yeah. like, yeah. 
Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? But yeah, big shout out to everybody. Thanks for the support. We'll see you in the new year. Yeah. Right. Thanks very much, boys. Nice for nice for having and, uh, us down, but so yeah. soon, yeah. British champion again. Yeah, That's what it's all about. Bing, bing. I appreciate you coming down and showing yeah. us and just everybody a chat, have a Merry Christmas and a safe, happy New Year, and uh, catch you all in the New Year. Team yeah. Outlaw, Team nice Wales. One, guys. Nice one, boys. We'll Cheers catch boss. up again. You, Cheers, mate. Thanks Not very man. much. Nice Good to meet job. you as well, buddy. Legends.